Hello everyone and welcome to some Mr. FPGA news. This week we will be talking about an update to the NARC core, new arcade cores released, an active S video adapter for sale, and more. So let's get to it. The PCXT core has upgraded its MDA graphics support to Hercules graphics. MDA graphics stands for monochrome display adapter and was an IBM display standard that only supported text mode. So any graphics developers created using this mode could only use characters that existed in the ASCII table. But with some creative use of the ASCII table, you can get some pretty impressive results for the time. By upgrading the PCXT core to use Hercules graphics instead of MDA, you still get the standard MDA text mode. Plus, in addition, you also get a bitmap graphics mode. This allowed developers to directly manipulate each pixel of the screen instead of being limited to just text graphics. Along with Hercules mode, you still have the option to use CGA and Tandy graphics. Having arcade games on your mister can definitely be overwhelming with how many games we can currently play. You can do some organization manually or by using some scripts available. But now we have another option. There's a new desktop app that will let you download arcade cores and organize and filter the arcade games just the way you want. Developed by City41 on GitHub, AM Mister is an open source app that will help you organize your arcade library right from your desktop. The app is available for Linux, Mac OS, and Windows. Anton Gale has released a core for Performin, a top-down action arcade game where you must eliminate every enemy in each stage. This game is based on the slap fight hardware, but use sprite and background priority and also handle the color palette slightly different. Anton Gale also started extracting the elevator action schematics. It is mentioned that a core is highly likely, but no definite decision has been made. Elevator action is a game where you play a spy. You have to make your way from the roof down to the basement while also obtaining secret documents. Mr. Addons is selling an S-Video slash composite adapter for the Mr. FPGA. It's the active version of Mike Simone's design, so it helps give you the best possible composite quality out of the Mr. FPGA. This adapter also requires some fork cores created by Mike Simone, which can be downloaded through the update all script. Time for the latest PlayStation Core bug fixes. This week contained the 480p hack now also supports 512 interlaced PAL content. Graphical glitches and turbo prop racing were fixed. There were CD fixes for KKND and All-Star Tennis. And several ripoff movie games were fixed. For example, this Lion and the King game. This had me laughing when reading the update by Robert, the developer. The image made me think it was a real Lion King game. Attract 17 has made some updates to the Truxton 2 core. The updates include a stereo toggle. The arcade's music was actually done in stereo but mixed down to mono. This will give you the option to actually listen to the music in stereo. There's also a toggle for fast scrolling. The fast scrolling feature is believed to be a debug feature used by the developers. An option to fix a sprite warping bug was also added. The sprite warping existed on the actual hardware, so permanently fixing this will lose you some accuracy in the core. But if you want to disable it, you still have the option. Just set the SOCD toggle for player 1 or 2. The track 17 also started working on the following Toplin 2 hardware games. This will be the order in which they will be released. Fix A, which is a top-down run and gun game that is the spiritual successor to Outzone. Knuckle Bash, a side-scrolling beat-em-up. V5, a vertically scrolling shooter. And Dogune, another vertically scrolling shooter. A track 17 also started prepping work on a project with Pramod, which involves the Midway ZNY unit. 
Pramod is a developer that's currently working on NARC and Smash TV. So regarding the work that's being done with the Midway ZNY unit, we already know that cores for NARC and Smash TV are being worked on. And Pramod, the developer, has also completed all aspects of the NARC core and is conducting verification for it. This process makes sure that what works on real hardware also matches what the core gets. This work will also help with other Midway ZNY unit games. Games like Trog, a maze game with similar gameplay to Pac-Man. Strike Force, a game with similar gameplay to Defender, but also can allow for two players to play at the same time. Terminator 2 Judgment Day, a light gun shooter based on the movie. High Impact Football, an American football game. Super High Impact Football, the follow-up to High Impact Football. Total Carnage, a multi-directional shooter like Smash TV. And of course, Mortal Kombat. Otego has released a beta for the arcade game Wonder Planet. This is a vertically scrolling shooter. This is also the final game that is part of the JT Carnev core, so the next release should be a public release. Otego is also planning to update a bunch of cores with spinner support for next Friday. So that's it for this week's episode. I provided links to all my sources in the description. Make sure you also check out RetroRGB.com to see my Mr. News videos in blog form and to get more retro related content. And if possible, support them on Patreon too. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button and its bell icon so you can get notified of future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll speak to you next time.